Today, we are going to be doing a full stealth 007 or Mission Impossible, whichever you prefer, way of doing the KO Perico heist. We're going to be jumping straight into it. We're just going to be going, hit the ground running, and try and do this as fast as possible in the sneakiest, stealthiest way possible. So let me explain this to you. We are going to be going in with the Vellum, ladies and gentlemen. So that means we're going to be coming into the airstrip with the Vellum. We're not going to have, which I need to make sure I do here, we're not going to have any weapons. So I need to make sure we have a weapon stash so that we can get off the plane without triggering an alarm. As soon as we get to the airport, we're going to grab our secondary loot. We're going to take out the power so it is pitch black, so there's no lights on, no cameras. Once we've got all our secondary loot and taken out the power, we're going to grab a motorcycle. We're going to drive all the way down to the compound. We're not going to kill anyone. Even when we enter the compound with the motorcycle, you'll see what we're going to do. It's going to be super stealthy. Um, get inside that compound, grab the primary loot, and jump off the bottom of the map. I want 100% certain. I haven't attempted this yet, but I'm certain we are going to get the Elite Challenge. And I'm certain this is going to be a lot of fun. So anyway, like I say, Airstrip is where we're going to be coming in. The entry point is going to say Drainage Tunnel. But we're not going to go in the Drainage Tunnel, ladies and gentlemen. Which now that I'm thinking about it, means we're going to have to. If we're not killing anyone, we're going to have to get a grappling hook. Maybe we will kill a couple people to see if we can get the gate codes. I mean, it is 007. He just silently take people out, right? The, the weapon loadout I got, we made sure we got silences and the marksman because I thought that would be cool. If we're doing it like James Bondy, you want to have the silence pistol. So that's the weapon we're going to be using. Yeah, screw the no killing part. We will take people out because if we get the grappling hook, we won't take anyone out. But if we don't get a grappling hook, we're going to go in and just... Pew, pew. Just take some people out so we can get a gate key. Escape point will say main dock, but we're just going to ramp off the end of the island. And this is going to be nighttime, obviously. You guys seem to really enjoy the nighttime Mondays, the Monday night KO Perico run. So that's what we're doing here today. Also this week, I'm going to have a lot of... Um, I just want to switch it up a little bit. The KO is not going anywhere. We're still going to have a bunch of KO Perico videos on the channel. But we're also going to be Diamond Casino Heist this week. We're going to be doing some Dre missions. We're going to be showing you how I do the warehouses. And we're also going to be playing the KO Perico Heist with randoms and seeing how that goes. Because I have literally never done that. So it'll be really fun to do on the channel. But anyway, that's just a sneak peek of what's coming up this week. But ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I think we've set this thing all the way up. Yes, we have. Let's jump into the heist. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with our 007 or Mission Impossible version of the KO Perico heist. <laughs> let's see what we can do. So what the plan is here, I was originally going to take out the power. I was thinking, let's take out the power, then we'll get our loot. But what we're going to do is we'll grab our bag of weapons. We'll get our secondary loot from the hangar behind us. Um, and then we'll take out the power because we need to get our guns. Originally, I was thinking we'll do this without killing anyone, but we are. I mean, it's James Bond, right? You do stealthily with your little silence pistol. I have to take out a few people. So we'll be doing that. We'll be doing that. So first things first, we need to get our guns. Then we'll grab our secondary loot from in this little hangar here, and then we'll take out the uh, we'll take out the guards or take out the power, I should say. All right, what loot do we have? Our survey says. All right, two stacks of grass. That's not good. It's the second worst you can get. Um, and this will fill us up, I think, three quarters of the way. So we're going to have to get more. We'll probably go just get it from upstairs. I could go to the building. No, we'll go upstairs. The building over there, it's just going to have cameras and people. Too many people patrolling it. We'll just get our loot from here. I'm trying to be quick. We need to get our elite challenge, as always. And, uh, yeah, we, we've got to be quick. We still have to go all the way to the compound. I don't even know if we're going to be able to make it there without triggering any alarms. So want to try and do this as quick as possible i'm also by the way if you've been following along the last few videos i've been talking about i've been having crashing issues i'm still having crashing issues just doing this setup for this mission i think my game crashed like three times i've been having low fps rubber banding it's been bloody brutal so if you're on pc let me know if you guys are having issues too because a few people on pc have said that they're having the same like issues so if that's the case, I'm assuming maybe it's an update from last week. And hopefully it'll be fixed in this next patch. Um, but it's been brutal. I don't know if it's my graphics card or if it's the PC. I've been on... I spent like four hours on Rockstar support troubleshooting it with them. And they made me do a bunch of things and nothing has worked. I'm still waiting to hear back from them to troubleshoot some more things. But it's just been a pain, man. Some of you have given me some suggestions. So I may reach out to you for help. Um... With some of the things that you guys have asked or said that you did that worked for you. And I obviously, I've, I'm useless with tech, man. I'm so bad with PC. I'm good with tech, but for some reason, PCs just... 
I just can't do it. <laughs> There's just so many bloody things with PCs, man. All right, anyway, we've got our secondary loot. Let's go ahead, grab our... No, let's take the power out. I was going to say, we're going to grab an outfit for this one. We're not going to grab an outfit. James Bond doesn't get a disguise, does he? No, you don't see him running around with a disguise, or do you? I can't remember. All right, so there's a motorcycle up there too. I can see that. So that's the vehicle of our choice that we'll be using. So first things first, though, let's go around here. Because I need to kill. There's a guy that's going to be up near that motorcycle. You see him right there? I want to shoot him before he gets down to where that camera is. So the camera doesn't see him. So I'm going to have to... Let's grab our little James Bond silence pistol. Where is he? Where is he? Stop moving. There we go. I love that sound. There's our motorcycle too. We'll grab that in a minute. I love the sound of the silence pistol, man. It's so cool. All right, and then camera. All right, we're good. Now it is time to turn off all the power on KO Perico. Turn off all the lights. Turn off all the cameras. This will help us drive our motorcycle straight to the compound. Well, that's the plan. We'll see what happens. But I do need to speed this up. I don't think I can go any faster than I'm already going, but I need to keep that in the back of my head that I need to go fast because that elite challenge, baby. Whenever you come up to the airstrip... Oh, I love that sound when you turn it all off. Whenever you come up to the airstrip um, and you go, instead of going like with a vellum or something, or not a vellum, a long fin and just drive into the drainage tunnel, whenever you do it from the airstrip on land, it always takes time. So I'm hoping to get this thing done in like 10 minutes. That's my goal here. So anyway, let's get out of here. You know what? Let's actually go this way. Because there's going to be guards over there. And I don't want to drive past them. I got to remember, I don't have an outfit on. So I can't just drive around this island all willy-nilly. Because if any guard sees me, the cameras won't see me. But if a guard sees me, that's it. We're done for. Okay. So anyway, what we're going to do right now is our... Is we're going to hit a tree. I hate the trees in Kao Perico. I hate them so much. I hate the terrain here. I'm sure you guys feel my pain. I know there's at least two of you that are like, yep, that's me. I hate it too. <laughs> so, yeah, it is what it is. But anyway, let's continue on. We're going to do our Indiana Jones run here. I guess it could be Indiana. It could be James Bond or it could be Mission Impossible. All of them, all of those movies all have someone driving this motorcycle or a motorcycle just like this and ramping up over something. You guys know what I'm talking about. We've all seen it. All right, so I think there's a guard. I think I can see there's a guard in that tower. So let's go ahead and take him out. But don't move, please. Let's be quiet. Got him. All right, now we can ramp over our super secret special ramp. All right, here we go. Hopefully I got enough speed here for this. Yeah, we did. Okay, I'm over. Okay. Now we're going to drive straight to the compound, avoiding all guard cones of vision and vehicles. All right, I don't see any cars. Let's continue. No cars, right? The thing is, the cars show up on your minimap so late. So I'm actually going to go up here just in case. I know the cars drive around this road. And if I'm stuck on that road, we're screwed. So we'll stay up here. I don't see any cars. I do see someone on my left there. So let's avoid him. Go up here. Okay, so now we actually... I need to get to, like, here. So what I'm going to try is something that you guys, one of you suggested in the comment section. You said if you take out the cameras and the power on the KO Perico heist, um, the, because the cone of vision, as we know, shrinks, the guards shouldn't, shouldn't be able to see me. Oh, for God. We're going on foot. We're going on foot. I totally meant to do that. I decided I wanted to go on foot, okay? Uh, <laughs> the guards... I, does anyone know what this is for, by the way? It's the creepiest thing that I've seen so many times. Just a little cage in the middle of bloody nowhere. Um, supposedly, I can run straight into the compound without killing anyone and, like, get past them. So, I'm going to attempt that here today. I don't know if that's possible, but we are going to attempt it here today. If not, we'll use our handy-dandy little sniper because I am going to have to kill some guards anyway to get the key. We do need to get a key to get into our side gate since we don't have a grappling hook. We're going to have to go... Yeah. Okay, is there any cars? Nope. Is there? Nope. Okay. So I can definitely walk past this first guard. 
It's the second guard. Somebody said I can walk past these second guys. It looks like I can, actually. No, because you see that line? That's the fence. And I can't jump over this because look at his cone of vision. Yeah, so I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm going to have to... There's a jeep coming. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't take those two guys out right there and then. Because there's a jeep! Wait for him to drive past. There's no other ones out here, is there? No. Okay, he's gone. Even though he's not showing up on my mini-map, he's probably one of those invisible jeeps again that keep driving around here. All right, come on. Don't mess this up. Okay, he's dropped the key too. Perfect. Perfect. Now we're going to follow this jeep that has nobody in it. Look, there's no one in it. You guys see that? There was literally nobody in this jeep. It is driving around with nobody inside of it. That's what I'm having to deal with here. Okay. Can you bush? Bush! I hate the train in Kale Perico. Okay. Let's put our gun away. Come on, come on, come on. So, it looks like we could... Why are those lights on over there, by the way? We took out the lights on the compound. Why are those string lights still on? Riddle me that, hey? Eh? Uh, maybe it's because it's in the compound. I think they're on backup generators. I don't bloody know. But anyway, yeah, so it looks like I couldn't sneak past those guys because there was no way I could get through, get around their cone. Even though the power's taken out and everything, I couldn't get past that cone. There was just no way. Okay, now, look, the gate opened for the bloody panther. I always see the gate open for the panther. And it terrifies me. Okay. Put our gun away. Let's jump up on here. Right in here. Okay, we're good. We got more keys too, but we're not going to be using them. I mean, theoretically I could, but you see the juggernaut? We can probably get in here and out before the juggernaut even gets here, maybe. We'll try it. We'll try it. Come on. No, I can't do that. I'll get copyright because my voice is so immaculately perfect. It sounds just like the video game or the movie. Okay, let's grab this. I can't. I didn't even pay attention to how much that was. All right, let's speed this part up. Is there any paintings on the walls? I didn't even look. All right, let's speed this part up. All right, that took a little bit longer than I wanted it to. I'm going to be completely honest with you, but it's fine. All right, there's no paintings on that wall. I don't know if there was on that wall, but I don't have room for them. But I was just curious because I never paid any attention to it. All right, are you going to do that? There we go. So some people have been asking me in comments on other videos. I keep getting that massive infinite cone that comes over as soon as they get the primary loot. The only time I ever get that recently, I think it's a bug because no one should have an infinite cone. Uh, the only time I ever get that is when I kill people. And I know a lot of people say, oh, if you listen, Pavel says that more guards have arrived. But from experience, when he says more guards have arrived, by the way, it's not more guards in the compound. The reason they say that is because if you kill everyone outside the compound, he says more guards have arrived. Because that way, when you leave, there's more guards. That's their way of saying that's why there's more guards out there. I have never seen any more guards arrive in the compound. They're always outside of it. And I'm sure people are going to argue with me on that, but it's the truth. It's the truth. All right, so jug. I might be able to do... No, we're not going to be able to. I'm going to have to wait for the jug, which is fine. Which is fine. I'm just not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk it. So what we're going to do... See how we just said fresh guards inbound? They're not fresh guards in the compound. I promise you... They are not in the compound. And people are going to argue to the death with me on this, I'm sure. But I'm going to die on this hill. <laughs> when they say fresh guards, it's outside the compound. Okay, now we can go. And I do not have an outfit. So I cannot be seen. Okay, we're good. There's no guards here. Run, 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 run. Okay. So we've got the elite challenge now. We've got... No, not the elite challenge, sorry. We might have the elite challenge. The reason I say that is because even if we trigger the alarm any time after this point, it doesn't matter. But as long as we've got to this point, I think it's after, actually after you get the, the 
primary. I'm not sure if it's after you get the primary or after you leave the compound. Either way, just to be on the safe side, once you leave the compound, we, uh, we're good to go. All right. Thank you. Okay. One last trick here. We're just going to jump off the edge of the island and hope that this works. It seems actually a lot brighter today. Maybe it's a full moon or something, but I don't know. Does it not look really bright for a nighttime video? I don't know what it's looking like if you guys are watching on your phones, but for me right now, it seems pretty, pretty bright. All right, I lost like a couple grand there. All right, let's move on to our little magic square. <laughs> magic triangle. Let's see. Come on, little uh, little balls of minds over here. Let's put on our rebreather just in case. And this is it. Absolutely completed. Happy Monday to your faces. You know what? I'm waiting for the day where they patch it. You know what's funny? The things that Rockstar patches just completely blows my mind. The amount of issues we have in this game and they like patch stupid things. Like even for the speedrunners, people that do speedrunning of the Kaoburiga heist that have all these weird ways of doing it. They're literally speedrunning for the fun of it. They're not doing it to make millions. You know what I mean? They're not using any replay exploits. But they patch things that the re that these bloody speedrunners are doing. They are, they, there's literally like a 0.0001% of the community that does speedrunning. And they patch things that those guys do. You know what I mean? Anyway, <laughs> let's see what we have here. I'm going to... I was hoping for 10 minutes, but I think it's going to be closer to 11. But I think we've definitely done it. We've definitely got the Elite Challenge. 1336! That's actually a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Where did we waste time? I don't know. I feel like I went pretty fast there. I don't think I could have done that any quicker. Maybe I could. Anyway, guys, happy Monday. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Like I say, this week, we're going to be just trying out a few different things because um, I really want to try and test myself on the Diamond Casino because a lot of you guys have been asking for it, which makes me happy because I want to try doing it as well. The only reason I haven't really done it in the past is because I like doing solo and in the heist obviously you have to do it with randoms so we're going to be doing that we're going to be doing some dre missions some ko perico with randoms and then obviously the spin the wheels on saturday the viewer voted ko is on sundays but yeah thank you guys for all the support recently i really do appreciate it thanks to all the members on the channel that have hit that join button you guys are absolute legends i appreciate you more than you know so thank you so so much and i'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video goodbye